you know, I'm just another stop along the coaching journey for me. <laughs> it's another, another, another place to live in another city and another, another thing going on. On the road again, that might be the top song in the Raptors playlist this year as they're starting their new season in Tampa. Raptors head coach Nick Nurse says he's being optimistic and positive about the experience, but can't help and wish that he was back with the fans in Toronto. You know, it's our, it's our city and it's our team and our organization. So there's, there's a lot of unsettling feelings about having to leave, to be honest. Um, it's not easy, right? It's not easy to, to pick up and leave that behind. It feels strange. Nurse and the Raptors are calling Tampa home for the season because the Canadian government denied the request to play their home games in Toronto during the pandemic. Nick joked on the media Zoom call today that there was a familiar feeling in Florida. It was cold. Go out yesterday and it's 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it feels minus 10 here, bro. Can it? <laughs> yes, that's Sportsnet's Michael Grange calling Nick Nurse bro. Now, the Raptors are no strangers to playing in Florida, having finished out their season in the bubble in Disney World. Nurse says he's spoken with college football teams in the area about playing during the pandemic outside of the bubble and hopes to have conversations with other major sports teams in the area. We'll see as we go here. You know, I know that we're, we're down here in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Rays and all that are here. We're, we're probably have some discussions with them, the Lightning, all that as well. We'll see. There are a lot of new faces on the roster this year. The team losing Marc Gasol and Serge Ibaka in free agency was a blow. And when Nurse was asked about them, it wouldn't be 2020 without a little technical difficulty. You guys know how much I love Mark and Serge, right? And how much they did for us. I'll never... You can never replace going through what we went through with those guys. They were a joy to coach. They're great players. Um, but, you know. Nick, Nick, where'd you go? Bud. Oh, not the faceless users of Zoom. Sorry, I just, I just kind of, everything just kind of shut down on me. And he's back. Now back to Serge and Mark. We'll think fondly of them um, and certainly remain in contact with those guys. But now we got new guys to coach and we got to move forward. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The NBA's Christmas Day schedule was leaked and it looks like the Raptors weren't on Santa's nice list as they didn't make the cut. Even though just two years ago they were NBA champions and over the last five years they've had one of the best records in the Eastern Conference. I mean, I'm surprised people are still shocked or even upset or outraged by uh, us not having one. You know, to expect that um, is kind of a prediction or... or hypothetical and thinking that we're going to get one because we really don't get put on that list of, of teams to be playing on Christmas. Um, I think last year was a default just because we won the championship a year before. Mm. Note to self, don't ask Norman Powell in the future about NBA Christmas Day schedules. And while the Raptors won't be taking part in the Christmas Day bonanza, they're in for a unique experience in Tampa when it comes to their practice facility. The team is actually transforming a hotel ballroom into a practice court. Honestly, I just found out about the makeshift uh, practice uh, court um, literally before I came down here. Um, I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, I don't know what it's going to look like, but, you know, I know this team does everything they can possible to uh, make us have that home feeling. One of the new faces to the team is former Atlanta Hawk DeAndre Bembry, who grew up loving Vince Carter and had the chance to play with Vince before he retired. Carter, he was my favorite player, so um, it was pretty dope the uh, first year that he was, came over. And I got to just build that bond with him and got to realize the person that he was, he was just down to earth. So it was just funny to me how he can still dunk better than me at the age that I am and the age that he is. The Hawks didn't make it to the playoffs last season, so DeAndre didn't experience the bubble life the Raptors did. I'm still going to have to get used to, uh, I guess, no fans and um, being able to bring my own energy and just that whole environment because I uh, wasn't able to, to uh, go through that process yet. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.